Welcome to the CBNQ in Wyoming layout construction update number six. Today is December 3rd, 2018, and I'm Mark Pruitt. November was an interesting month. Work on the layout was slowed due to another major project around the house. After several days of heavy rains, water began seeping into the train room. And I learned a few things about what not to do when I started scenery in the Casper yard. Let's take a closer look. This was the beginning of my effort to scenic the classification yard in Casper. I mixed up some plaster of Paris, added some acrylic colors to give it a tan tint, and applied it to the area between the tracks at the end of the yard. I was hoping to be able to fill in between the tracks, but the plaster was so thick that all I could do was get in a thin layer. Hmm, not looking too good so far. A couple days later I mixed up another batch that was much thinner than the first, like thin pancake batter rather than the thicker stuff I used before. That did fill in between the tracks better, but it also filled in between the ties on the outside of the rails. Not good. It took days to dry. In the photo here, it was still wet. I was getting rather alarmed at how my yard was looking and sought advice on a couple of model railroad hobbyist and model railroader forms. I decided to press on with the area to see if I could save it. Adding dirt texture between the tracks was the next step. I bought some powdered writ dyes and mixed them with dry plaster of Paris. I got this. Not great, but certainly no worse than the smooth plaster. It was pretty messy looking when it went down. Here's a shot of the texture still wet. Yes, those are small pools of water. But hey, I've seen scenery construction on others' layouts, and it can look pretty messed up in the early stages. A couple of days later, it was finally dry, and to my disdain, I now had this. The black, brown, and yellow grit dyes had combined to give me, among other things, a red speckled landscape. Clearly, something was wrong. I mixed up the dry plaster and dried dirt using formulas provided by Joe Fugate in some of his videos, but this certainly didn't look like his results. Joe used dry powder tempera pigments in his dirt, so I concluded that the dyes don't color the mixtures in the same way as the tempera paint. So I ordered some of the appropriate dry tempera pigments from Amazon and sat down to wait for their arrival. This is what arrived a few days later, black, yellow, and brown. Same as the writ dyes I bought. Maybe they would work out a little better though. Sure enough they did. The dirt actually looked like dirt and not some technicolor mess. Feeling somewhat encouraged, I moved on to ballasting with Woodland Scenics Fine Cinder Ballast, then applied a final coat of dirt sifted over the entire area. This is the result. It's not really what I wanted, and certainly I need a steadier hand on the dirt sifter, but it's much better looking than what I had at the beginning. The addition of weathering to the tracks and dirt using severely diluted India ink, along with cargo spills like grain from leaky hoppers and oil and grease between the rails, should mute the splotchiness and render the area at least passable. Now that I know what not to do, I'll proceed on with the rest of the yard. And speaking of the rest of the yard, I realized that a big mistake was laying the track on cork roadbed rather than sheet cork or directly on the foam. So I filled in between the tracks with more roadbed. That was easy, and ballast should hide the gaps adjacent to each track. I also realized that the dark brown paint I covered the yard area with was not a good choice. The actual dirt in the Casper area is more of a light tan, so I repainted the entire yard, classification tracks, and engine facilities with a tan paint. Much better. And finally, I've continued work on the servicing area, though it's moving at a snail's pace. I did the repainting and started erecting the roundhouse itself. The first track is installed, though not yet wired. Considering all the problems I had with the yard scenery early on in the month, 
and the water that started seeping into the basement, not to mention the large bookcase project I started elsewhere in the house and which is nowhere near done yet, I can't complain too much about how little I got done on the layout. Over the next few weeks, I'll probably focus mostly on getting the roundhouse tracks down and wired, and maybe spend a bit more time on the scenery in the classification area. Meanwhile, Merry Christmas everyone, and I'll see you again in January. Thanks for watching. Bye.